Hello and welcome back. I am back with another mini haul. Um, I got another sample or two for foundation and I got some of the bits and pieces and I also got sent some items from company for review, some PR sample things. So I thought I'd share everything all together. Um, and I want to start using some of the products, so best to get the whole video done before I use the products. Yesterday I went to a really fun vintage fair with my other half. We did vlog our day out in Brighton yesterday. I'm just trying to think. Yes, I did vlog in the fair, well, bits and pieces of it. So you can check out our vlog channel. It's linked down below and it will be up maybe around the same time as this. So you can go over and subscribe and then you won't miss it when the video does go up. But I'll just quickly show you some bits I got. I got this necklace. How cool is it? Let me zoom in. So it's got like a rib cage on it in this fabulous pink on cream background on a black background. It's reminds me of cameo brooches. And I also got this ring, which I just thought was so cute. Definitely a spring coloured ring. I don't know, that was fun. So let me just zoom back. I got some other wee bits, um, some accessories and stuff, and I thought I'd share all of them with you because they were fun. So, from the vintage fair, I got these fabulous glasses, sunglasses. They do actually have UVA or SPF or whatever else in it. I think they're 1940 style. Am I right or wrong? I can't remember. But they're just tortoise shell and gold rims and... They were cute, so I thought I would get them. Also from the Vintage Fair, I got this little pot. And it's vintage makeup. It's from Le Q Cosmetics. You can see the name of it there. And it is a little pot. I've not actually opened it yet, but I checked out the one in the shop, or at the stall. And it's actually a lipstick, would you believe. So... It's got this little lipstick pot. And you can do the three different looks. You can go with matte or glossy or whatever. Well, so it says on the little pot. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Yeah, three looks in one lip paint. Gloss, matte or Hollywood. So I would be having a play with this. But I just thought that was really cute and something a bit different. And it might just sit on my top of my drawers because it looks really pretty. Something else I got from the Vintage Fair with these earrings. Again, these are quite sort of spring colours and I just thought they'd be very pretty. My other half's friend was running that stall as well. So I was browsing anyway and fell in love with them. I got all sorts of leaflets, as you do. What else did I get from the Vintage stall? Ah, oh, I've got a thimble because I do some sewing. I'm forever poking myself in the finger. Yeah, so that was all I picked up at the Vintage Fair. So now on to makeup-y type stuff. I have just done a review actually on this sister foundation or whatever you want to call it. This foundation sample that I picked up is the Dior Skin Forever. And it's for Flawless Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup and it's got SPF 25. I'm testing, I've been, I fell in love with the other Dior foundation that I reviewed. But I wanted some fuller, um, fuller coverage. So the chap recommended this, Marcus recommended this. And he gave me a wee sample, so I will be testing that out and a review will follow. Again, I'm in the lightest shade of that, which is 010. Um, the next... Oh, I can't even read her writing. Oh dear. Oh no, it's okay. This is a sample from MAC and it's their face and body. And I am the shade N1. Now, if I sort of see... You can kind of see there, not really. But I don't want to show you because it will just pour out. Um, I heard really good things about this. I will do a review. Fingers crossed it works well. While I was in MAC, I've heard very good things about the Pro Long Wear Concealer for under eyes. For some reason, my under eye concealers are plain silly buggers and I needed a new one. I've heard very good things about the Pro Long Wear. I tested it out in the shop. It looked really nice and I wanted to test it out. So, you know, for my wedding and stuff, I need a good concealer. I am the shade NC15 and this works well it worked really well in the shop i will be doing a review hopefully it works really well fingers crossed because that would be good to have foundation sorted and a nice concealer sorted we'll soon find out i'm just popping these things back in that bag 
Oh yes, the place where I got the vintage lipstick and also the sunglasses, they were from the same place. It's Campbell Crafts. I will be doing a blog post and I will link everything in there and you can go and check them all out for yourself. But they, they, the cosmetics line is part of the Campbell's Crafts, I believe. And they do all sorts of different makeup as well. Well, a few different other makeup items and makeup brushes and stuff. I will link them, as I said, in the blog post. So, on to other makeup items. Well, no, skincare items, I should say. I got the number seven cleansing brush. Um, I get this because I'm forever getting wee breakouts and I've got scarring and I've got discoloration in this area. Even when I am eating lots of fruit and drinking plenty of water, I seem to have, if I do that, which is not attractive, I will always feel lumps under my skin in this area. Always and ever, they have been there for the longest time. I don't ever remember them not being there. And I definitely think they are some sort of spots or build up or something under my skin. They're not painful, but they just feel like, do you ever get a blackhead on your face or a really clogged pore on your face and you can feel it? It's not a spot, but you can feel it. It kind of feels like that, but there's nothing, you know, I can see the lumps, but there's nothing underneath. I don't know what's going on in that area. So I thought I would try something like this to try and get all that dirt out. I want my face to be really nice, my skin to be perfect for my wedding day. I've jinxed myself now, haven't I? I just want to have nice skin for my wedding day. And this will hopefully aid it. I will start using it once a week and if I need to use it more, I will, but I think maybe once a week would be enough. I wanted to show it so I can try it out later. So, yep. I'm out of my micellar water, so I got the Garnier micellar cleansing water. Hoping this will do a good job of removing my eye makeup as well as my face makeup. I do double cleanse, obviously, but yeah. This was on offer, I think, in Boots when I picked it up because it's new in. So, yeah, there was that. I got a Sanctuary Manjulelor. Oh, I have no idea how to say that. A Sanctuary... <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk. A sensuous Indonesian spa treatment with exfoliating rice and soothing spices. I'm just out of my body scrub. This smelled really nice. And I tested a wee tiny bit of my hand and it was just a nice scrub. I have no idea how to say it though, so you can have a stab yourself. So that smells really, really nice, as do most sanctuary things. And the final thing I bought was some baby wipes because I ran out of my baby wipes and they're very handy to have when you're doing swatches and things for videos. So, teeny tiny haul there. Now for the PR things. I got this from Mont Bleu, I think. That's how you would say it. This here. I was contacted by one of the ladies in the PR department and asked if I would be willing to look at some of their items and give a review because they have some new nail files out that are all embellished and whatever else. So I said, yeah, I'd love to because I think the mini nail file that I already had, the glass one, is from this line. So I will give my honest opinion. It was a free sample and I'm so delighted to get it. I was just so chuffed. But I will always give you my honest opinion on any item I'm reviewing, as you well know. The first thing I asked for, it's kind of gross, but I'm actually kind of excited. It's this. It's a foot scraper. Even the name is just delightful. I have quite hard skin on my feet. I'm a dancer. My feet are a mess. So I asked, they sort of said, you know, pick a few items and I asked to try one of these out. And now for the shiny things. They sent me a few nail files. This is a nice full size one. These are glass nail files and they have crystallised, they have Swartzky elements, but they're crystallised, they're glass nail files. And this is a nice full size one. And I just like the handle on this. It's got a little bit of embellishment. So it's quite cute. This will live with my, um, I have a little bag where I keep all the things I need for a manicure. And I will be testing this out this evening. So I'm quite pleased I got that one. I got another smaller one and this one will most likely live in my handbag or at my desk at work. So I've got one in each place that I need to get access to. It's just a smaller nail file and it comes in this little sleeve which is beautiful. It's kind of velvet feeling, you know. And that's the little embellishment there. So nice blue and white and a wee bit of grey. 
very nice. And finally, I asked for a pair of tweezers because my tweezers aren't as sharp as they were. And I asked for the plain purple ones, but obviously they've got the embellished line out, so she sent me these embellished ones. And they've just got little purple diamantes on it. And just they're a normal pair of tweezers. But again, I will be testing these out. My eyebrows are in dire need. I've just, I'm so lazy when it comes to my eyebrows because they're quite sort of full and stuff anyway. I very rarely bother to shape them or tidy them or do anything else with them. The final thing they sent me, and I'm kind of delighted because I asked for a makeup brush. I just sort of said, oh, I wouldn't mind trying one of your makeup brushes, but they didn't send me any of those. Not that I mind. I was just delighted to get a few bits to review. But instead they sent me this compact. I've been looking for a compact, a nice compact for a wee while, and this one's quite cute. It's plastic, so it's a hard plastic, and it's got the diamante bits on it, which is quite cute, so it's quite nice. And I know this sounds daft, but I really like the inside because it's all silver, you know, it's all mirrored, and it just works really well. So you've got a normal size and then a magnified side and nobody needs to see themselves that close but yes that was really really nice to receive so i'm delighted to get those few bits to test out i will be doing a blog post on them or i'll do maybe a quick video as well to go with it in a week or so once i've tried them all out hello so this is just a bit of an add-on to the the uh, haul i got these bits and thought i'd include them now so i'm going to quickly go through it First up, I have some nail polish. After me being so proud of myself for not buying the nail polishes, I bought the nail polishes. This first one is Sparkle Pearl, which is this white pearl finish. And this one is Blossom. So those are both silk polishes from the Barry M collection. I just got these two because I was thinking about them a lot and I've seen them on so many different people and thought they were beautiful, so I got them. I got some of the new spring releases for their um, Jelly, Jelly High Shine finishes. The first is Huckleberry which is this really fantastically light pastel blue. It's not focusing, however. And this next one is actually on my nails and it's Sugar Apple. It's a fabulous color. So very, very nice. And from their new, I can't remember what they've called it, Aqua Marine or something collection. I want to say Mermaid because, oh, here we go. Aquarium collection. There you go. Read the friggin' top on you. Um, I always wanted to call it the mermaid collection because it's got like um, mermaid scales on the, the handle. But this one is Pacific. It's just this fabulous blue green shade. It's mainly a blue colour with green in it. And this is the kind of the reverse. This is more a green blue shade and this actually reminds me of a Chanel polish. It's got a gold tone to it as well. They've both sort of got this is a blue with a teal greeny kind of tone to it and this one has more of a gold finish on it. But yeah this one reminds me of a Chanel polish I own but I don't like using it because it's actually not that great but I really love the colour which is a bit annoying. Anyway two other things. I bought myself an invigorating blue orchid um, hydrating and enriching body lotion from Yardley. I'm out of my body lotion so I got a new one and it smells lovely. And I got this as a free gift with purchase. It's a Dead Sea body wash from Spatopia and I got this from Various free gift with purchase. It's nice, it smells good and I've used it and it's quite nice, it lathers up well. Now I finally got my hands on a sample from the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now the wee girl in boots that helped me out fantastically, she had to literally scrape the bottle. I was matched to Shell, which is the lightest shade and unfortunately there wasn't really enough. She scraped it out for me and I do have that wee pot but she recommended I went to Debenhams and get a fuller pot and they were able to help me out a bit better so so pleased to have that, can't wait to test it out. And she was also really, really lovely and gave me two samples of the Advanced Night Repair Serum, which I can't wait to try, and the Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. So we'll be testing those out. And while I was in Infinity Foods with my friend, he was picking up some bits while we were strolling about, a lady approached me while I had a massive, massive spot on my chin. She was like, let me give you something for that. I was like, no, oh, make me feel better. But she was very, very nice. And she gave me this, it's Antiac. I'm not sure how you say it, so that's it there. And this is the wee leaf that it came with. So she gave me two daily face washes. 
and it's basically free from all sorts where's the thing it's free from paraben steroids antibiotics peroxides so no nasty chemicals just natural goodness these are two deep cleansing uh, face washes and she said to use it morning and night and she also gave me a liquid spray for you know topical treatment and I sort of tried to use this and the spray is like hmm. so it missed my chin so I have to spray it into my hand and then dab it on but yeah I'm looking forward to testing those out it'd be nice to get more free from products but that's it I am going to go and I'll finish up the whole video here because I won't be buying anything more I shouldn't have bought the nail polishes but they were on offer and I was having a bad day yeah I will learn one day to stick to a spending ban I don't think I've stuck to this one at all but yeah, I'm going to go on. So thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you like. Please subscribe if you like. And I will see you in my next video.